Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday. Right? Okay. It's Wednesday, right? Yes. So I don't even. Uh, happy Wednesday, everyone. It is Wednesday, January fifth, twenty twenty-two. Good morning, Luke. And we are going to finally give Earth Analog a roll. This came out in the early part of last year. Uh, this came out in the early part of last year, and I didn't review it then because it seemed to be kind of half-assed when it was released. It didn't have any kind of non-mouse controller support. I think it's got some controller support now, I think. Uh, well, we want that. Um... Level of detail, zero. I don't even know what that means. No, we'll worry about that later. Um, but the developer, to their credit, has really updated the game. This uh, this supermassive black hole update dropped in late November or mid late November, I think. And so I'm like, okay, I'll put it on the, I'll put, I'll add it to the queue. So we'll finally get to it. So this is an exploration game. And that's really all I know about it. Oh. Oh. Well, we should do how the game was meant to be played. I, I usually like a baby mode, but when they say this, I can't help but not play it this way, you know? I mean, I, I can't help but play it. That was a weird choice of words, I'm sorry. I can't help but play it this way. That's what I should have said. I didn't sleep a lot last night. I woke up at 4.30, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Because that's apparently when my body wanted to wake up. If you're wondering when that is, it's 6 a.m. now. So, so uh, yeah, so I woke up an hour and a half ago. I didn't mean to, but... Um, so I got a little less than five hours, six hours of sleep. Uh, yeah, difficulty guilt trip. That's an interesting way to put it. But when they say this, I, I really feel I should play, at least give it a shot this way. You know what I mean? So we'll play it that way. Uh, yeah, we'll do the tutorial. Absolutely. I love to, I love a good tutorial. Okay, 2093. Oh, that's not too far away, actually. Uh, humanity has depleted all of Earth's resources. You know... This has been a thing in science fiction for so long, you think someone in charge would have noticed? <laughs> like, the ideas for science fiction come from somewhere. Spooky. Okay. Morning, David. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a little while, if I recall correctly. Though you could have been here yesterday and I might not remember. I don't know anymore. This tutorial is optimized for keyboard and mouse controls. Sure. I think the game has partial controller support now, but... Okay. Oh, it's loading. All right. Okay, good. You've been around. You've been around. <laughs> so you're a Beach Boy song now? Is that what's going on? <laughs> sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, at least it's not COVID, but I'm sorry you got sick. This is like the time of year to usually get sick anyway. 
You know, I, I usually get sick around my birthday in February. I, I almost always get a cold or something around then. I almost always get something in winter, but I've been boosted. I got the flu shot. Uh, I'm not going any, I'm barely going anywhere except to hang out with um, our pod, which is my wife's family. Yeah, Nicole works in uh, Nicole works in uh, elementary school as well. So, yeah, for a long time when she started teaching, she would bring she'd be sick constantly. That seems to be less the case now. Thank you know, thank God. Wow, this is taking a long time to load. First time loading might take a couple of minutes. Oh, all right. Um, but yeah, I totally get it. She, thankfully. Uh, thankfully, uh, I mean, knock on Ikea wood again. She has not been sick in quite some time. So that's good. And again, she's also boosted. Um, also got the flu shot. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get through this latest thing. <sighs> well, I hope you're feeling better. Ooh, Cataclysm is my favorite of the home worlds. I love the modular mothership, and I like I like the story is a little different. I never finished one or two, Homeworld one or two, but I got the closest, I think, to finishing Cataclysm. Uh I wish it would get a remaster like the uh like one and two did, but eh, what are you gonna do? But yeah, Cataclysm is my favorite of the home worlds. Um, so yeah, enjoy that. That's great. That's good stuff. That's real good stuff. Wow. My computer is no slouch. It's decidedly mid-range at this point. But... Yeah, I, I I think it's the best of the uh, three Homeworld games. I don't know how Homeworld 3 is going to do, obviously, but uh, out of the three I have played of the original series, Cataclysm is my favorite. I don't, but I'm I'm not as enamored with the Homeworld games as a lot of people are. Like everyone, uh, so many people are like, "Ooh, Homeworld!" I'm like, "Yeah, Homeworld." My favorite space RTS is uh, Conquest Frontier Wars. For example. Oh, okay, here we go. Alright. What? Did you say something? Oh. All systems ready. Oh. It's been eight years since I left Earth and my body feels sore from losing a long sleep. <laughs> losing sleep. Very earth like. Okay. Apparently W Apparently W uh, throttles up your speed. Okay. Oh. oh that's so that's how we're doing this. Oh, oh all right. I have no idea how much throttle I want. Okay. You gotta love a good ring course, y'all. Gotta love a good ring course. Oh, Conquest Frontier War is on both GOG and Steam. I own it. I own it both places as well as the disc. <laughs> I love it that much. Um, yeah, that's my favorite of the uh, Any Space RTS. And I was so crushed. I was so crushed. Wow, it takes a lot to move your ship, apparently. I was so crushed when the Kickstarter for the sequel... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Why am I still going this way? Hang on. Controls, hey, wait a minute. Hey, what's, 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 what's going on here? Okay. Wow, that's not great. If 
Follow the path entering the... Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, jeez Louise. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's not great either. Jeez Louise. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, jeez Louise. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try and make our way back toward this, uh... Toward this... <laughs> yeah, I guess Newtonian flight. <laughs> Follow the path through the microwave. What do you think I'm trying to do, Jay Decker? Mama didn't raise no dummies. I've, 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 I've played this rodeo. I don't know. Okay, hang on. All right, so okay, so we're slowly lining up. These controls are weird. Um, okay, so I don't know what this full thr thrust mode does, but it is kind of weird. Okay, all right, so now we're starting to line up. All right, now we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, why do I have to pull this all the way over here? No, why do I have to pull this all the way over there? Okay, well. Are they big squares or little squares? I don't even know. Okay. Okay. No, apparently we're going off track again. You know, these squares going big, little and big like this really is throwing me off. I have to be perfectly honest. Okay. 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 And these controls aren't great, I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel like... I feel like I'm wrestling a cat. Like, what the hell is happening? Okay, why is... Okay. Wait, don't... What do you mean, don't fly through? Well, it's saying follow the path. So maybe it's not going to make a doo 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 sound when I enter. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm just trying to... Fo I'm just trying to follow these squares... Like any good space gamer, you know, with a with a ring course, you know what? Oh. That's the family group chat text that just went off. Am I heading the right way? Even okay, okay. I'm moving forward. It just doesn't feel like I'm okay. So I guess I flew through that one. All right, I, I guess. So I'm following the path, even though it's hard to follow the path because these. These ring, these 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 squares keep changing, and I don't know if I'm heading correctly for it. Am I heading correctly for it? Oh, I guess I am. Okay, sure. So, do I go down now? What do I do? Am I heading the um, game? You got to make this easier. You got to. Uh, why are you shrinking? Okay. Whoa. All right. Hang on. Yeah, the shrinking is really throwing me off. This. This, this growing and shrinking thing. Just stay at one size. Just stay at one size. What is this bullshit? This is really... Okay, did I go through that one? I guess I went through that one? I don't know. This is really... This, this growing and shrinking thing... Really throwing me off. Like, am I heading in the right direction? I think I am. I think I'm trying... I think I'm trying to point to the, to the other... So I think I'm trying to point. Okay, let's let's point the pointer at the future gates, not the one we're trying to get through, and see if that helps. No, no, no. A little bit up. A little bit up. There we go. A little bit up. There we go. This is this is. Wait, why? Why is it moving over there? Okay, sure, sure. 
Going too slow. All right, fine. We'll we'll up the throttle to a hundred. Okay, throttle is now at a hundred. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. No, no. Did I even go to that one? Did I even go through that one? I'm following the path. I'm trying to follow the path. Wait, why is it going up there? What the hell? No, wait. Ah, did I go through that one? I don't know. This is a tutorial. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. This is... Oh, boy. This is not great. Okay, okay, okay. We made it through that one. Okay, so... Okay, okay. This is a great tutorial, you guys. This is a really great tutorial, you guys. Okay. Is that Matilda or Lizzie? I can't tell. Who is that? Matilda? Matilda? Hang on a second. What the hell? But Matilda was making a weird noise in the hallway. So I get up and I go look at her and she runs away. I wonder if she's gotten into the nip because her eyes were real big. And then she saw me and bolted off to the other side of the apartment. So, so she might be into the nip right now a little bit. Uh, maybe that's what that weird sound was. We have catnip toys all over the place and she dives into the nip every so often. All right. Come on, come on, you stupid thing. Okay, now you're kind of heading for the... Matilda! Matilda! There we go. There's Matilda. Oh, hi, Matilda. Yes. Oh, a little blurry. There we go. No, it's okay. It's okay. Stay here. Okay. Yes. Yes, you can stay here if you want. Stay here if you want. Yes, you can totally stay here if you want. Boink. <laughs> you can totally stay here if you want. Or not. I don't know. I thought she wanted attention or my lap or something. She loves laps, especially when it's cold. She loves... She's a Southern California cat, so anything below 70 is freezing. Um, okay. Matilda's yeah, <laughs> also flying high this morning, yes. She very well might be. Uh, okay. All right, so... <laughs> hey, hey, David, come on. <laughs> I think I'm hitting the rings. This is just... No, no, stop. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to target the future rings over here. So I'm going at full speed. I wonder if it wants me to do this full thrust mode. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. No! No! Ah! That was a bad idea. Okay, okay. All right, we're getting back. We're getting back into the swing of things. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Slow it down. Okay, I think the space bar brings us to a stop. Okay. 
So let's. This is not confusing at all. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Thorsten. Uh, no, no. Okay, I missed that one. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and get the next one. This, this makes a lot of sense. This is great. Alright, so I cannot use that full thrust mode, apparently, because I am... I am a nightmare with that mode, apparently. Okay, this... Whoa, whoa, hey, no! Oh, come on. A little confusing. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. The mess is what it is. It's an absolute mess. And this is the tutorial. I'm trying to follow this path down to this planet. And because these, these, these squares keep changing in size it, it's so confusing it really is it's just it, it's just really confusing like because the squares keep changing size it throws me off as to where the center of the damn thing is like developer why'd you think that's a good idea just make rings or squares, make them the same size, none of this, none of this shrinking bullshit, and, and, yeah, it's just, like, did I just go through that one? I don't know. I don't know if I went through that one. I have no idea if I went through that one. I have no actual clue if I went through that one. Yeah, it's like near impossible to figure out where the center of the damn thing is. Yeah, no, I don't, it's not the squares that's the problem. That's not the problem. It's that they keep shrinking, and because they keep shrinking in a weird fucking direction, like they're shrinking down, I have a very hard time figuring out where the goddamn center of the thing is. Oh my god, this is infuriating. Okay, maybe this is a, maybe this is a reason why I didn't stream this before, because... Uh, I, play, I played this once when it was in early access, and I crashed, and I was like, okay... I'm not going to play this again. And then it was weird. It like was in early access for like a month. And then and then it got released. And the release felt really half-assed. That's why I didn't touch it. Oh, no. It was released in like February of last year. This is well beyond 1.0 at this point. And you would think that someone would tell him, Hey, your tutorial is shit. But I guess not. Maybe other people like this. I don't know. I mean, that's that that landmass is looking pretty cool, right there. This is some this game uses fractals or something to generate its landmasses or whatever, which is really neat. But um, no, I, I I might be moving left or right too. I, I'm not even. I'm not even. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Okay, I got through that one. Um. Yeah, I think they're three I think they're shrinking straight down, but it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell because I am moving also to try and get into the center of the damn square, and I can't tell where the center of the goddamn square is. Because it keeps shrinking. How are you supposed to plan a flight path on this? They don't do this in real planes or whatever. No, or whatever. Like, every time you fly through a ring or something, they stay the same size. Who thought this was a good idea? Yeah, I mean, the planet surface is really cool. That's beautiful. The center of the square doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I mean, as long as I get through it, I guess. But, but think of them as landing lights. How can I use them as landing lights when they keep changing their goddamn size? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm following the stupid thing, but it's still so annoying that it's follow the path. Yeah, I'm following the path. I'm trying to follow the path. I think I'm no, I'm above the path now. Okay. I'm just going to keep Wow, that's really pretty. Really pretty down there. Um Okay, so now 
Why is it designed? Just why with the squares? Why with the shrinking squares? Just stop shrinking. Okay, it's up there now. So I guess I'm below the flight path now. This makes a lot of sense. Yeah, this, this is this is well designed. Yeah, this is great. This is, this is great. This is really great. Okay, so I'm following the path. Watch, I'm going to break the tutorial and then just quit. Oh, wow. Apparently it's raining. Well, that's neat. Um, it's actually really nice. Um, I like that. Okay, so now I'm still following the path. They can speed up a little bit. Reachable H2O found. That, okay. Sure, that, I don't know what that means. Um, I mean, I know what H2O is, but, like, I'm surrounded by H2O. It's, it is very pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, come on. Alright, so I'm following the path. I'm not doing that full thrust mode, because that's always a bad idea, apparently. Well, let's do it. Whoa! Okay. Let's not do it. Whoa! Okay, so now what? I followed the path. Now there's, now there's no more path. So what do you want me to do, game? Cannot boost. You found dark energy. It's concentrated near the ocean surface. Dark energy is used for speed boosting. Fly close to the ocean surface where the dark energy... Okay, sure. Do I have an altimeter? Oh, there it is. Okay, I do have an altimeter. Okay, it's over there. Press and hold. Oh, cannot boost. Whoa, hey, 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 ah! Okay, jeez Louise. Okay, um... Ah! Woo! Okay. If... Okay. Wait. Fly to an altitude about five kilometers. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, point slightly down at some land and press C. What? Now I can use the depth... What? Fly low over the terrain. Okay. Okay, so I got to anchor to the surface. Okay. I think I have to get to about 400 meters or something, I think it said. Uneven. Okay, all right. Oh. Oh. Okay, so drill. Uh. What? <laughs> what? What's going on? Press the key. I need to start drilling. Oh, you hit a key you hit a key when it hits the green part. Hey, look, another bot. Hi, Russian bot. What the hell is that even? Don't click those things, you guys. Don't click those things. Okay.
No, that's not what I meant to do. So now you want to head to a moon? How do we do that? All right, well, let's... We'll do the full thrust mode to get out of the atmosphere, I guess. All right. Where's this moon? According to the telescare, there's helium on the moon. I How do we know this? Is that the moon? See you, stream locked. Like, where's the moon? What are you pointing at? Are you pointing at the thing? What are you pointing at? So I guess that's the moon. I'm guessing. Not very clear, but I'm guessing that's the moon right there. I guess. I think. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Oh yeah, that's it says it says Ixo, Ixo, Ixo. Yeah, so that's the moon, I guess. Alright, let's let's head over there. So, if I recall correctly, the last time I played this, this is where I crashed. Like, the game didn't crash, I crashed the ship. So let's... As we get closer to the surface, I'm gonna slow it down. I think I have to get closer to the surface to do a bit of scanning. Do we have an altimeter yet? We do not have an altimeter yet. All right, let's, let's slow it down a little more. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of cheese, Luke? I would love some brie, my own self. Good, creamy brie. Mmm. Love it. All right, so let's... Okay, so how... Okay, now we have an altimeter. Good. All right, so now we'll start slowing down even more. So we'll get to about 5,000. Reachable HE found. Oh, really? All right, so now we'll scan. Did we find any? Get a little closer. Uh, I really can't answer that yet, Beatles. I need to get closer? Get a little closer then. Don't be shy. Okay, scan again. Like, where is this stuff?
Oh, it's over there. Uh, okay, so I guess it's over there, I guess. Sure. So there's a green dot right there that says HE. Drift limit 500 meters. Oh, drill limit. It says drill limit. It does ma it doesn't matter where we land. There's helium everywhere. Is there now? Okay, so let's get a little closer to the surface then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that close. Not that not that fast. Not that fast. Okay. Alright, so now we've anchored. Now we're gonna drill. And we have this little mini game. What? Use the drill like before. That's what I thought I did. So you have to hit the button. Press a key while the drill is inside the green layer. Yeah, this. This makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay, so in the green layer. Boink. Okay, apparently I did it. Okay, return to orbit. Alright. Whoa! We should stop doing that. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Let's. Get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. All right. So, F3 to scan what? Oh, scanning radio waves? What? Oh. Beacon signal detected. Beacon? What? Find the si Okay, where? Signal strength. No, I don't want to go and I don't want to air the atmosphere. Or do I? It's a no, it's an orbit, so I don't want to air the atmosphere. Okay. How do I find this stupid beacon? How do I find this dumb beacon? This way? Like, what does this mean, this signal strength? I'm. How does this signal strength thing make sense, even? Okay, maybe I, need, maybe I need to find another radio thing. There's another radio thing. Hang on a second. Well, there's a second one. Data cube detected. HUD updated. Okay. So, is that what I'm looking for? The, the data thing right there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
Oh, I'm in full thrust mode. I did not mean to be in full thrust mode. Okay. So there's the data. I guess. That's what we're going for, right? Maybe? I mean, what do we do with the data? Do we drill for it like we do with other things? Like, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so... The data's down there. Or maybe it's data from Star Trek. No, probably not. All right. Um, we probably have to drill for said data. Uh, hang on. So, is there a thing to drill? I've already mapped 18% of the surface. All right, so there's data. What do I do to get it? The print spider cube. But what do I do to get the data? I'm flying right toward it. Do I just land? Do I anchor? What do I do? 1,000 kilometers. Wait, is that on the other side of the planet? 1,000 kilometers. Is it on the other side of the planet? Are you kidding me? Oh, shut up. Okay, um... Where's the data? Where... data? Data. Thousand kilometers. So I wonder... Okay, for God's sakes. Alright, hang on. We're gonna... I don't know if I can go underwater. Can I go underwater? Hang on. Where's the data now? Where's the data? Data, 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 data. Where's the data? Did I lose it? Oh, wait. Up uh, 900 kilometers, so I guess we're kind of doing the right thing. Maybe? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. Let's fly a little bit more. And then come to a stop. And then, where's the data? 900, okay, fine. Oh. Guess it's not underwater. So, good to know it's a spaceship that can't go underwater. Well, that's good to know. Not a submarine as well. You're not giving me the best impression game. All right, so now I'm back here, I guess. Um, did I find the data again? No, I don't think so. So let's do the thing. Where do the... Fire beacon signal. Okay. No, no, no. Beacon signal detected. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, um... Hang on, hang on. Uh, burp. So there were other radio bands, apparently. Hang on. There are other radio bands. Data cube detected. Okay, and then there was a third band. There was a third band. There was a third band, I thought. No. Wasn't there a third band? I, I'm not crazy. I thought I... I thought I saw that middle band light up a little bit. No, no, not that one, not that one. The middle band. The middle band lit up a bit. Because that's what I thought. 
Okay, so how do I get to that data? All right, hang on. We're gonna... Where's the data cube? Where are you, where are you? Okay, so I'm closing on it. Yeah, but here's the thing, here's the thing. So, okay, I'll ignore the data cube for now, but here's the thing. Yeah, the moon is really close to the planet. That's a good point. Um, shut up. So, find the beacon in orbit. So, how does this signal strength thing work? I don't know. Okay, maybe this is the right direction now that the thing is all lit at the top. I don't know. The signal strength is going up. No, in orbit. In orbit, not in the atmosphere. In orbit. I'm supposed to find it in orbit. Okay, hang on. Maybe it's... Hang on. Okay, so maybe this way. All right, so... I think I'm heading toward it. I think I'm heading toward it. No, no, this way, this way. Okay, so the signal strength is slowly going up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go this way. No. No, okay, wrong way apparently. Wrong way, alright, right way. Right way, wait, what? Okay, no, now the signal strength is going down again. Okay, sure. This makes a ton of sense. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. So find the thing in... I gotta find... Okay. Alright, so let's find the signal strength. No, oh, wait, 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 okay, wait, all right. Okay. Let's head in the, let's, okay, so now I think we're heading in the right direction. Now that we're heading in the right direction, we do this. Speed up. I think we're heading in the right direction. Okay, I think. Wait, there it is. Bacon. Guys, I found the bacon. Wait, 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 come back, Bacon! It's Bacon! Come back, Bacon! Come back, Bacon! <laughs> Here we go. All right, hang on. Let's let's let's. All right. So now there's the bait. There's the bacon. We found the bacon. Oh, bacon. Okay, so we found the beacon. All right. Yeah, see that middle one lit up. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nope. Find this island. Another beacon. Wait, you want me to... 
find that island. Seriously? Seriously, you want me to find that island? Well, it's, I guess it's pointing me in the right direction, I think. Uh, I can't tell. Is it that one? Well, maybe it's that one. Oh! Hey, good, good eye, Disco Treat. I did not see that at all. Oh, and that's the shape of the island. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done, well done. Okay, we found more bacon. I know that's meant to be beacon, but <clears throat> I see beacon, and of course, I think bacon. Sorry. It's not only because I'm hungry. I love bacon. Ah! A bacon to bacon. <laughs> There's bacon in that beacon. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there's the beacon. So do I just fly near it? Do I anchor near it? Do I land near it? What do I do? What do you want me to do, game? It doesn't look like bacon. Well, it kind of does, actually. It kind of looks a little like bacon. A little bit. Looks a little bit like bacon. Andrew Orbit receiving bacon. Receiving bacon. Bacon target full. Excuse me. Sorry. All right, now what? Is there another radio thing? Is there another radio thing you want me to scan for? Ah! Hey, that wouldn't have gone well. Thank you. Um... There another, okay, wait, 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 wait. There's another radio thing. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no. I saw it. No, it went up this way. It went up. It went up. It went up. No, it went up. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really annoying. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, so now. Okay, so now. No, no. No, 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 no. I don't think I have to drill out the beacon site. I mean, I guess I could. For what, though? Uh, what am I drilling for? Helium? I don't know. Choir beacon signal. All right, I guess I'll take off again. Let's go into orbit and get away from the planet. All right, let's... Now let's come to a stop. And find another thingy. All right, wait, wait, wait. No, no, this way, this way. Little bit, little bit, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more. There it is. Another, another beacon, you guys. <laughs> Go to where the... Detected. 
Go to where the blue star is above the horizon and find this island. What? <laughs> All right, sure. I I I guess. I I mean I. I From the last beacon, go to where the blue star is above the horizon. Blue star is above the horizon? What? Blue star is above the horizon? What are you talking about? Blue star? What that? All right, hang on. Jeez Louise. All right, hang on. Oh, apparently. All right, so now where's the signal strength? Okay, the signal strength is getting better. Are we heading the right are we heading in the right direction? I guess we are. I think. I think we are. Uh all right. The the strength the signal is getting stronger. No, now it's getting weaker again. And now it's getting stronger again. Yeah, getting stronger again still. Okay, so it's still going up. That's good. All right, hang on. Whoa. It's going down again. Uh, John. Morning, John. I wish I could tell you this was cool, but... I wish I could tell you that, but I can't because it's kind of a mess of a thing. This thing is kind of a mess of a thing. A lot that just doesn't make sense. Okay, okay, maybe I'm heading the right way. Oh, I might be heading the right way. Whoa. Ooh. No, I'm heading the... Wait, hang on. Oh, jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Jeez. I was heading for it, and then I lost it. This is dumb. This is really, really dumb. Okay, here we go. That's going back up again. If it's behind me, why is the signal strength going up now? Whoa. Now... Now it's going up again. No. Now it's going down again. For fuck's sake. Now it's going up again. Now it's going up again. Did I find it? Oh, there it is. He's a whiz. <laughs> Rain X on the windshield. We're baking, you guys. Beat is too high. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Beacon signal detected. <laughs> this is what No Man's Sky is like without the excitement. Anomaly detected. Oceanic anomaly? What does that mean? There's a countdown, too. What does that mean? Something gonna happen? Whoa! What just- Whoa! What is going- What is happening? Uh, uh, I guess that was what that was. Wait, there's a good, there's gonna be another one? So do I have to get to this anomaly, I have to get to this thing then. What is friggin' happening? Nope. I mean, I, f I feel like I'm following the signal of the right island. I think. I think that's what I'm doing. Beacon. <laughs> Detected. Hopefully I'm above, high enough above the thing to... Well, let's get a little higher. Okay. Beacon signal detected. I am so bored, you guys. I am so 
bored. I don't know if I can convey to you how absolutely bored I am. I I I am I am so bored right now. Harka found something interesting. Really? There's something interesting in this game? Did it take them that long to find it? You know why we can't find Parka anymore? Because they left this to play a more interesting game. I find it very hard to believe that anyone found anything interesting in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, that was that was that uncalled for. I don't know. Was that uncalled for? I'm not sure. Um Oh. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. What did happen to that space fishing game? Let's get out of here. Oh, God. That was... Ugh. That was... That was... What the hell was that? What What was that even? What was... What was that even? Oh... I did play a little bit more Rift Breaker. It was okay. Oh, fishing. Yeah, there was a fishing game. No, 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 no. Fish. Starfisher. That's it. All right, hang on. Uh... Give me one second. I change a couple of things. Change the name of a stream while I'm cha while I'm streaming. Yes. Star Fisher Plan B. Earth analog is boring. All right, so I've changed it on Twitch. I don't think I can change it on YouTube and everywhere else. I think I can only change it on Twitch. I think. I don't know, actually. Uh, oh, hang on. See if I can change it. Like, because with Restream, I can change all the titles. So let's see if I can do that. See if I can change the titles. Uh... No, I don't think I can. Changes? No. No, I can't change it. Ah, uh, poops. Oh, well. I can change it there. Okay. Try this. What the hell is this? Yeah, I wasn't feeling well when... Um... Yeah, the game part was just... Awful. All right, it's a starfisher. Does he use a controller? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, camera rotates with boat. Sure. Um, play game. Oh, 
Luke, that was priceless. That was that was absolutely that was absolutely priceless. <laughs> Looks better already. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. There's a kitty though. Uh oh. No kitty food? Wait, no kitty food. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? Okay, no, no controller. It's a mobile game. Look at, the, look at, look at this. Look, look, you, I don't know if you can see behind me, but behind me are four arrow keys. So what am I supposed to do here? Oh. Okay, so I can change the... Oh, I can change the... I can change the control keys a bit. That's cool. What am I... Okay, what am I doing? Oh, there's a little kitty on the boat. I guess I'm fishing for stuff? Oh, there's a thing. Wait, there's a time... Is there a timer? Something's going on the bottom of the screen there. Oh, what happened? Return to title screen. Oh. What do you want me to do? So... I guess, okay. So this isn't in space. Oh, this isn't in space. It looked like it was in space. This is just on the water. This isn't in space at all. This is on water. That's, that's... This is on water at night. That's why it looks like this. I thought this was in space. Oh, look, thingies. I guess we got to avoid those thingies while still getting starfishies. Okay. I don't know how many I need, though. I don't know how many I'm supposed to. Oh. Where do you find, do I, do I have enough? Do I have enough? I don't know if I have enough for the cat. Okay. I hope, I, okay, I hope I got enough. Did I get enough? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Is that enough for the cat? No. So I have to do it again. But it, it has a cumulative total, apparently. So, uh, so I just do it again, I suppose. What is H? Oh. Oh. All right, so let's try and get a bunch more fishies. I'm going to get you little fishies, little star fishies. There doesn't seem to be like any rhyme or reason why these these fishies are out here. It's just go to direction and find some fish. There's no like help to help you find fish. And those rocks don't seem to stop you. So they're not really obstacles at all. I thought there might be obstacles, but no, you just flow right through them. Um, why am I not finding any more? Come on, where are the fishies? There's one. There's another one. Oh boy, getting close, getting close. Oh boy, oh. Oh, no, 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 no.
<laughs> Let's do one more round to see if that actually feeds the cat. Then maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a level or two of Inquisitor because I'm not sure about this. Um So this is not a space game. I thought this was a space game, because look at it. It looks like a space game, but it's not a space game. So I I feel deceived from the get-go. Cause it's called well, you know what? It's called Starfisher. And I am fishing for stars, starfish. So I guess it's not that deceitful, but like it made it look like it was in space. You know, it made it look like it was in space. That's what I thought. That's why I thought I had to cover this, because I thought it was in space. It is not in space. So if you go slow enough, then apparently those things do slow you down. Um, those rock formations or whatever the hell they are. I don't know why you'd switch from this to this, but whatever. There's probably a reason for it. Um... Seems like it seems like I can get maybe 15 or 16 in a go. I, think I saw one over here. Oh, there's a there's a looks like a mon like oh god yeah that looks like a fishy monster that I probably don't want to run into. Oh okay. Okay, so. Was that enough? Okay, so the cat looks a little less tired now. <laughs> okay. I, I guess. Did that, did, that, did that unlock a new level? Let's see. It did lock a new level. Oh, Risky Waters. Oh, I know. I said I'd do Inquisitor. I just want to see what's going on here with the Risky Waters. What's going on with the risky waters? Why is this risky? I still don't understand why this is risky. Like, um, everything's pink, but that's really all I'm seeing that's different from the last... I guess riskier waters gives you more starfishies. There are a lot more... I'm, I'm already getting more fish. Like... Yeah, look at all these fish. So why is this riskier? I don't understand why this is riskier. Probably a reason. I just haven't seen it yet. Oh, what are those things? Are those uh, so those look like mines or something. I don't know. Are those mines? Do you see that? I wonder what that is. Oh, there's another thing. Uh, oh, there's oh ha. Love you. Okay, so there looks like there's some mines or something. Some prickly things. I'm supposed to avoid hitting those. Well, now this kind of makes sense. Oh. Twenty-seven. Look at that. Let's see how much of a dent that makes. Not much. All right. Well, yeah, forget it. <laughs> that wasn't that great. Uh, just warrant. Let's just do a level or two of this. It makes it's it's funny that we're gonna end on. Um, some Warhammer, because that's what we're talking about on the podcast today. Um, we've talked about Star Trek games. We've talked about Star Wars games. But the other really big franchise in, in space and PC gaming really is Warhammer. So today we're going to talk on the podcast, we're going to talk about Warhammer games. There are a lot It's always the same time, Beatles. 10 a.m. Pacific time, whichever time that is in your uh, in your time zone. 
But 10 a.m. Pacific, so about three hours from now. All right, we're going to continue with my beloved shotgun. Assassin here. Got to check and make sure there's not a better shotgun at the vault. So, yeah, about three hours from now is when the podcast is going to happen. God, I I I just can't believe how mind-numbingly boring that Earth Analog game was. I I feel bad, but wow, wow. Okay, so let's go check out the uh, the uh, the vault. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you, you come? Any shotguns? Ooh, hello. No, that's not better than what I got. Oh, not really. No, not better than what I have. Okay, well, all right. So let's. Now let's see if the sword they have is better than the one I have. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Did you come to trade? I did, fella. Oh, it is. Oh, hello. What do we got? Uh, oh. Oh, baby. E oh, hello. Wait a minute. Oof. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, give me that. Okay. Let's uh, switch that up. Okay. What's happening next? I had more fun by I had more fun playing both Noctis and No Man's Sky than I did with Earth Analog. Both of those games were more engaging from jump than Earth Analog. Though I do see the comparison. It is a it is a valid comparison, but both of the games you mentioned, Luke, Noctis and No Man's Sky are both I feel better as games. What are we doing? Is it a purge? The main routes are still blocked by the rebels. Our men have engaged them, but it could take a while until we can break through. I can assure you that we will spare no fire or manpower to get through. However, we can't use heavy artillery. Otherwise, we will destroy the routes for our own troops. I will defend the city. I will protect the chamber as long as I can. May the Emperor be your strength. No. You are Yay, shotgun. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Loading. Squishy, squishy. Oh. How do I get around this? Oh. So you guys, Luke showed me a video yesterday of this game where someone, an expert player, he goes by Judge Dredd, an expert player was, he's a level 100 player, which is the highest level you can get into the game. And he was playing a level 29 levels above his level. And because of the way he had set up his shotgun and his skills and whatnot, he was slaying everything. 
so, you know, life goals. <sighs> I'm enjoying the shotgun so much that I'm going to eventually copy his build if I can. It's gonna take a while though to get there. I'm level, what, 45? He's level 100, so it's just gonna take a while. All right. Where am I going, even? Well, I guess. All right. It was... Yeah, if you go to the, uh, our Discord, you can look at the videos that are in the Warhammer channel. And they are just... Just watching him fillet just so many bad guys. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the Discord server in the, uh, Warhammer channel. Uh, he posted it yesterday, so you might have to scroll back a bit. But, oh my god. Just like, <laughs> and he he barely gets touched. Like, like he he barely gets touched. Even though the level is like, even though the level is like so many levels above his. It's really a, oh, this way. What are we doing? Oh, waves. Okay. Oh, hello. You guys are taking your sweet time. Where are all the other ones? Oh, there they are. Hey. Yeah, the Warhammer channel is fun. We mostly talk about this game, but we, we talk about a lot of the others as well. Um, where are the bad guys? Like, we're supposed to have another wave. Where are they? Hello, bad guys! Okay, here's one. Oh, here's... here's I shouldn't get too far away from my boys over there. Oh, hang on. Gotta get all that money. All right. Shouldn't get too far away from my guys. Oh, there's a minefield. Oh, I put that minefield in the wrong place. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, here they come. Oh, look at all that. Inquisitor, all units detect a 44.5% increase in energy traces and locomotion signatures. 97% chance that this is the full force of the attackers, preparing for a final assault. Ooh, really? Okay. Now we've got an orbital strike, which will be fun to watch.
Hey Lance, how are you? Good morning. I, I don't remember your name. Have you been here before? If you have, I apologize. I'm not great with names. Um, where are the bad guys? Um, yeah, this is Plan C, basically, this morning. We first played Earth Analog, which is boring AF. And then we played Starfisher, which I thought was a space game, but isn't a space game. And also, it wasn't very fun. And then, and so we're like, okay, Plan C. Good old, my favorite ARPG ever. Warhammer Inquisitor. I love this game so much. What are you shooting at? Okay. Um... Scarabus A2. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that 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 Earth Analog game was painful. I'm sorry, developer, if you watch this, but that oh hello. That Earth Analog game was absolutely Oh, that was lovely. You are a true hero, Inquisitor. We are humbled by your dedication. Reinforcements are on the way. We can take over from here. New intel received, Inquisitor. The monitoring of Vox transmissions during the battle helped our data search locate the coordinates when the rebels sent numerous messages. Location, Vismar Minoris. Then we have our next destination. I could play this game all day. Ah, but sometimes you gotta have a job. Did I get anything neat out of that? Mi wow, stuff. Nothing neat, though. Bunch of blah, 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 blah. Ah. I wish I could play it all day, Beatles. Okay. Well, oh, um, well then, uh, uh, Lance, again, I apologize for not remembering your name, but, um, what, uh, are you working on? What's the game you're working on? No, I don't want to sell that. Uh, what's the game you're working on, Lance? Uh, I don't, we don't care if it's a space game. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have enough shards to start anything. Uh. All right, so hang on. Um, hang on. I'll try something. I've never really done this before. Okay. Um, let's see. So if I want to unlock this... I want to unlock this, I have to have 200 influence in the Malcorum system. Malcorum system. This is kind of a meta game. Quorum system. So none of these are. Oh. There it is. Unlocking other cards? Well, I want to try something. Hang on. I'll 
try something. Hang on. So we got a purge. Alright. Oh, it has to be at my level. At least my level. Ooh, yes, influence. There we go. I just want to see how this works. I've never, I've never gone back to a lower level mission and applied some taros to it to try and gain influence in the system to unlock a card. I've never done that. I just wanted to give that a shot. Oh, that sounds fun, Lance. I don't know if you're on our, I don't know if you're on our, on our uh, Discord. Lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but, um, but suffering and death. You should join, because we have developers there. And we're very supportive of space game developers. I tried getting into Pathfinder and I couldn't do it. It's a little too puzzly for me. Oh, do we have Eldar today? Ooh, Eldar. Hello, Eldar. Glorious carnage indeed, my lord. No bad guys in here. Just gotta make sure. Reloading. Greed. Definitely need more good space RPGs and adventure games. Yeah, agreed. So, thank you for making a sci-fi RPG. There are not enough of those. I will tell you, like we said. Well, that was delightful. What do we got? Oh, hello. Oh, that's nice. We were just talking about Homeworld. 
the, um, someone's playing Cataclysm. I forget who now. You think I'd remember? Because it was just moments ago they told me they were playing ca playing Cataclysm, and now I can't remember. Teleport beacon around here. One last push, and the victory is ours. Yeah, a lot of great games being made on Unity, no question. Yeah, I barely got any XP for that, though. I guess you don't do that for the XP, though. Ah! Do that for the other stuff. Yeah, I've heard so many good and bad things about Unity, but so many games are made with it, I can't really... Level one system. That's good. Ooh. The bear in there, the ones. Oh, hello. Fifty better than that one. But. Oh my lord. <laughs> Not right now. Um no, 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 no. Oh, what was this? Scatterfield. shards. Okay. Uh. A little too easy to use. This planet has been under quarantine for the past two centuries. Since a necro plague decimated the whole population, I recommend you make haste. Splendid news, Magos, as always. But the sanguine implant.
Loading. Man. Imperial reconnaissance forces located. Potentially useful assets, but their current situation is terminal. Immediate action required. Reconnaissance force relieved. Sent basic. Follow and protect order to the survivors. Come on, get out of there. Where am I going? Oh, over there. The day of retribution is at hand! Time to rebuild this wretched Imperium! Don't wait for orders! Don't wait for saviors! We are Legion! We are the Hydra! Down one, two will take its place. These are the words of Prophet Kavax, your savior beyond. I thought you said don't worry about saviors. Incoherent, heretical chatter. Their choice of words is trouble. Oh boy, look at all this stuff. All right, here we go. That was a fight. <laughs> yeah, in the future, there is only Grimdark. Well, that's not fair. We're heading in the right direction. Oh. Think we're heading in the right direction? Oh, it's this way. Okay. This way. It's this way, you guys. Okay, fine. We'll deal with this. Okay. Oh god, hey Rush, yeah, the shotgun is absolutely delightful. Look at that thing. Fallen profit, huh? Hey fella. Kavax. That was fun. Okay, we got this little bonus here, we gotta use it. A chest. Agitator. According to this message, the heretic Astartes have an underground base. The ent Purge the Viper's Nest, Inquisitor. Cleanse it with fire. Or bullets. Okay. This way, huh? Alright. Loading. And <laughs> nuke it for morbid just to be sure, yeah, right? Oof. Charge. 
It's delightful because I can't keep it. I have an easier track keeping up with enemies with the mini map that's behind me. Hang on a second. I'll turn me off so you can see it. There it is. Um, so yeah, the mini map behind me, that's the mini map is what I use to keep track of everything. And I just love how using the shotgun makes all the red dots just disappear. Look at that. <laughs> red dots? What red dots? Oh, those? Yeah, they're not going to be here much longer. <laughs> Uh, now we have a lot of red dots. Well, not for much longer, though. Oh. I have reached the underground entrance. I will return to the ship to prepare for the last battle. <laughs> Good thinking, Inquisitor. The nest of the vipers is... Hey, I'm gonna get rid of all these red dots. There's too much red on this screen. It's not Christmas anymore. There we go. <laughs> ah, just making the red dots go away. One of my favorite things. <laughs> ah. In preparation for today's podcast about Warhammer, Thorsten shared a couple of videos that explain a lot about the factions and whatnot of the Warhammer 40k universe. And um, I think I can do one more. And uh, God, it was fun. Oh, let's put me back on. All right, purge. Ooh, love a good purge. Oh wait. Um. Ooh. Uh. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, good. Yeah, guys, This the last day of the sale is today. The sale ends in two hours. Uh, the Steam sale, the winter Steam sale. It ends in two hours. And um, this, you can get this for $20, the complete collection. It's got all the DLC, the expansion, everything. An amazing value. Amazing value. Time for a purge. Inquisitor, be careful down there. The Hydra is a slippery, treacherous beast. We are going to have to talk about that today, Thorsten. It will recover. We must cut off its last head. Kill the leader of the traitors. Purgy, purgy, purge, purge. And they must perish. No rest. No forgiveness. Glory to the Emperor. Going? Where am I going? Oh, I'm still searching the underground hideout. Okay, fine. Reloading. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, it's hugely replayable because there's um. There's a main campaign, a lot of mini campaigns, and then you have investigations, and then you have randomly generated void campaign, crusade campaigns, and then you have just random missions, 
and you have Ordos missions that unlock more, even more gear. And uh, there's so many. Some people call it repetitive, which I can kind of get, but this is the kind of repetition I enjoy. <laughs> so I don't see a problem with it. I do that when I enter a room, just so there's no skulls. Look at all the red dots disappear. Making sure there are no hidden chests or anything. Oh. Sometimes there can be chests on the map. No, it's only 70 gigs. Um, you don't need to... You only need to install Martyr. You don't need to install Prophecy as well. So it's only about 70-some gigs. Loading. So if you install Martyr, that's all you need to... You, it's all you need to... The Prophecy is an expand alone that can be played by itself, but also merges with this. And it adds a fourth class, the uh, Tech Adept, which is a pet class. Which is fun. It's not my favorite. My favorite's the Assassin, as you can see. But... Because... As you can see, a fast-moving assassin within a shot with a shotgun is an absolute murder machine. Just What is that? What was that? <laughs> You survive that so you but yeah you, you don't have if you have martyr you do not have to install prophecy as well you can just you just install martyr and it installs everything I'm not sure why they set it up that way it is a bit weird but I'm not neocore I don't know what I'm I don't know and there's a new expansion coming next uh, later this year. I keep thinking it's 2021 still. Loading. Yeah, there's a new expansion with a new class coming, uh, which is really amazing. The support for this game has just been astounding. So, hang on. Where? I don't know. Okay, let's go this way. Let's check out this way. Ah. Supposed to do the thing. I'm supposed to shoot in there to clear the skulls if I can. Whoops. Um. Yeah, I don't know why Neocore. I mean, maybe they wanted to try to sell some copies. Because you can just buy Prophecy by itself. But you shouldn't. That's just silly. You've spread the poison of your dark masters long enough, traitors. This heresy ends today. Damn it, hey, 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 I was gonna... Inquisitor, are you ready to die? Countless mouths and a thousand eyes. The stars are his vessel. I am Alfarian. Yes, sororitas? I will devour you. You are insane. Insane, you say. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Move, move, what are you doing? Move, what are you doing? Move this way, this way, this way, this way. There's a thing. There's a thing, we need the thing. We always need the thing. There we go. Cut off the head 
Now. I felt like the creature wanted to die. His journal could shed light on the events. Be careful. The dark knowledge that broke his mind could await you on those pages. Love that shotgun. Alright, just checking for any chests or anything that I might have missed otherwise. Chests. I think we can. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love this game. All right. That's gonna do it for now. We'll be back in two hours. For the podcast, wherein we will discuss uh, Warhammer games, you know, because um, we really haven't talked about that in the show before, except in passing. So um, that's going to do it for this morning. We'll see you back here in a couple of hours. Uh, thank you for joining me for this weird stream. This is a weird one, uh, <laughs> but we ended on a high note. So yay! Uh, see you later. <laughs>